Good day, everyone. I'm making this video right here for uh, people who may not know how to or may not even heard about the Facebook settlement. Basically, they settled for $725 million, And this basically stems from user data being sold by analytical companies. In this case, the company is Cambridge. And uh, pretty much, if you had a Facebook page from May 2007 through December 2022, you are entitled to some sort of settlement. Now, the settlement may not be a large settlement, but you would get something and something better than nothing. However, it's not automatic. You have to apply for it. So, it's always, in my opinion, to apply and see what comes. You know, never leave any funds on the table. All right, so basically, this is an article from the Times, and um, they pretty much break down everything that's going on and, you know, tell you why and what happened. And, um, and, you know, the best way to look at it is that if you use Facebook and you use any of those apps, like it could be games, like for me, back in the early 2009, 7s, and that, 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 that um, range, I used to play a lot of Mafia Wars. So any one of those games, and there's a lot more games on Facebook now, but any game that you play on Facebook that is free, that um, odds are the payment is your data, and they sold your data. So, so a lot of us was affected by it. You know, you know that's just how they, that's how Facebook made their money. So, so basically, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of scam sites because um, this is another way to get a lot of people information. But um, I, I would think um, New York Times is a trusted source. And pretty much, you know, New York Times actually gives you a link to it right here. So you got this link. It says, according to the Klan's website. So this is the Klan website link. And this is the website. The website is uh, FacebookUserPrivacySettlement.com. Um, you can give it give that a shot to type that in and see what happens. However, you know, uh, for me personally, I'd rather go to a trusted source and, uh, and get the, the, um, the actual link. Don't try to Google the link, what's the link is, because it's going to be companies and bad actors out there that would um, have a bogus uh, a, a link, or rather they'll pay for a bogus add to have their link so they can get more of your information. They probably even tell you you have to make a payment. They probably, they're probably going to ask for credit card information and all that craziness. So be very careful. But this seems like this is the proper site. So um, basically this is pretty much it. It tell you the deadline is August 25th, 2023 at 12, pretty much midnight. And you basically have to fill this out and send it in. So this is the information right here. You know, pretty much, you just put all your personal information here. You uh, you put down, um, did you reside in the United States between that time? You say yes or no, whatever your situation is. And were you a Facebook member during this time? Yes. I think I was on Facebook since 20, I might be 27. I think I was on Facebook when it first opened. Because uh, I know I was on uh, MySpace. Ooh, that, was, that was the joint. And then I think I jumped on Facebook right when I... Um, got it uh, uh once like facebook i switched over from myspace when myspace was dying i switched over so yeah you pretty much uh fill that in you know if you have if you have a current uh facebook account then they're gonna ask you what what your start date uh and if you close it what was your end date Okay, I see now. You don't need to answer this question if your account is current. So this is for people who had the account. Either they delete the account out of frustration because they got tired of it or whatever. Anyway, you put that in and then you put your email address. Now, this email address should be the email address that you use for your Facebook. Don't put your new email address in. Put whatever email address in you use for your Facebook. Now, if you have multiple Facebooks and you have multiple email addresses that you used you put this information yeah you, you can add extra email addresses in 
and then you put the phone number that was associated to your Facebook page. Because basically what they're going to do is cross-reference everything. I'll cross-reference your Facebook page. Uh, you know, And then I'm pretty sure they're going to look into any type of information that was stolen. And they're also going to look for your phone number because that's another thing that was stolen. And then you put your username. And the way you can find your username, it tells you right here. You just go into account settings, general settings, and then go to user. Then once you put that stuff in. Then you ask, how do you want payment? You know, you can have, um, um, you know, you got, you can, you can, have, you can, they can send you a Mastercard. You can go to PayPal, Vitmo, Direct Deposit, your bank account, or Zelle. You know, these are different ways that you can actually get your payment. Me personally, I probably go Direct Deposit. Now, out of the whole idea of being very, very strict with your information, if you have one bank account. I probably would, you know, stay away from direct deposit because you want information out there. Or if you have multiple accounts like me, uh, this would be safe because this is just another place that can steal your information. Anytime you put your information on the internet, it's a uh, possibility that um, it get taken. You know, that's just how it goes. You know, it flies through the interwebs and it makes it to the other side. And sometimes things happen. Um, but for pretty much encryption helps with it, but the same, you know, everything can be broken. All right, so that's pretty much it. So you just put that up, then you sign, you pretty much type your name in here. That's basically your signature, and you hit submit. That's about it. So I'm gonna fill mine in in breakneck speed. All right, so that's it. So. I say I would get an email between two and three days from, um, I guess from now, basically confirming my information was sent. And that is pretty much it. Now, I hope this helped a lot of people out. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that, um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that, had, um, that have the right for this claim. However, won't apply for it because that's just how it goes. And then when August um, comes around, either people are going to be rushing to do it or they just not going to make it. And then that's it. And uh, maybe that'd be a bigger pot for everybody else. But hopefully every, more and more people get their stake, get their claim, uh, because that settlement is going to go to this particular company. And I'm pretty sure whatever funds that is left, I'm pretty sure they're going to take a large percentage of it. So the more people who file for their claim, get their piece of the pie, it'd be less for the actual settlement company, the company actually doing the work. All right, everyone. I hope you all have a good day and get your claims in. Peace out.